Hi, so I thought today I would show you um, how I make my kefir smoothie so that uh, when I make reference to it in the video that I'm about to shoot, that you'll understand what I'm talking about. So I start with some organic uh, frozen strawberries because I like to have it be nice and cool. And so these are just ones that I, and I'm doing this in my Vitamix. And so unlike the rest of the time, where I end up juicing my fruit here, I go ahead and let the fiber stay in. So I do this once a day. All right, so that's my organic strawberries. Then I have here some fresh strawberries that I add. And so I've got my fresh strawberries in here. You'll see I put a lot of fruit in here. I like it with a lot of fruit. All right, I'm gonna move my cutting board out of the way. I washed those before you guys came in because I didn't want to bore you with that. All right, so. Um, in here, now I'm going to add my kefir, and so here we have my homemade kefir that my husband makes for me. Um, he cultivates the kefir grains and uses some uh, raw milk, and so he has made this for me. So I always start with shaking it, and you're going to hear it uh, fizz as it releases, so listen. Did you hear the <laughs> Anyway, okay, now I'm going to add some in here. Well, first of all, let me show you what it looks like in here. Do you want to see? Can you see that? So you see all the little chunky bits. So very good for you and has great probiotics. This is great for your digestive system. This has been wonderful for me when it comes to moving bowels. Sorry, I know food prep and talking about bowels probably don't mix well, but you're gonna have to bear with me because this is my life right now. <laughs> okay, setting that down. The next thing that I add in here is I add in some raw coconut oil. This is how I get my oil because your body needs a certain amount of oil. And so, um, so that's why I add this. It's, uh, it actually, you can feel the texture of it in it. It will melt at like um, body temperature, but because I have the frozen strawberries in here, it doesn't melt. So I do about a tablespoon, just like that. And I just put that in there. And usually I just wipe off the rest of the spoon because this is really good for you. And so I can just put it into my skin. This is actually what I've been using as skin moisturizer during this because it's really good for you. So anyway, all right, let me see if I can get that closed. All right, then I also put in some pineapple, which my husband has also cut up for me. He takes such good care of me, and that is who is behind the camera right now. And so I'm gonna add some pineapple. Looks like I'm making one that's a little bigger than I meant to, so I might be sharing some with my hubby. And then finally, last but not least, sorry, I got some pineapple juice on me. I have, some raw honey that I also add for um, sweetener. What are you smiling at? Are you doing something naughty? You will see your oh, brother. Oh no. <laughs> My husband is so naughty. <laughs> anyway, this stuff is amazing. I can tell my husband was in this last. <laughs> I got it, I got it, it's going, but it's slow. <laughs> So then I do about a tablespoon of the honey like this. And it comes out with a really neat, like sweet sort of tart, excuse me, flavor. Mm -hmm. My little sticky finger. All right. is everything and part of my routine as many of you have already seen is that I like to take pictures of everything so I took some pictures before I started so forgive me and then, you know, I appreciate you indulging me here for a moment I am my father's daughter if you knew my father Alan will tell you about his father-in-law this is yes an inherited trait it is Oops, apparently I can't do it. My fingernails are too long. Okay, I have my little snapshot, putting my honey away. It's about to get really loud here for a minute, so I don't put my little thing in. By the way, Vitamixes are the most amazing blender known to man. This was a gift for my birthday a couple years ago from my mother, so forgive me, it's going to get really loud. This, by the way, is what they use at most um, coffee bars and um, smoothie places. They use a variety of this. So like next time you go to Starbucks, you'll see a similar setup to this when they're blending it. It won't say Vitamix, but trust me, it looks like this.
So that's it. I'll let you see what it looks like because it looks yummy. And there you have it. That's my kefir smoothie. Yum.